These days, I can't help being a little bored. I remember when it all began, 1955, the modernization plan. First small diesels, then larger and larger they became. My brothers, sisters and friends, how I miss them all. I'm probably the last Black Five still alive. All the others, gone, cut down well before their time. And here's me, hiding in an unused siding. My crew hid me here when I was withdrawn from service a very long time ago. The line back then was still operational, but it was surrounded by classes 47 and 76. In 1982, the line fell under Dr. Beeching's modernization plan. Just then, a black class 08 diesel shunter started to back down on 45492. Ah, they found me, didn't they? Well, it's about time. Now, they're going to melt me down and rebuild me into more useful stuff. Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't say so. And neither would I. Just then, a man stepped down from the diesel's cab. Hello there, my name is Edwin Salmon. And I'm the official manager of the Woodhead Line. I have come here to collect you for work on the Woodhead Line. We're going to reopen it as a preserved line for the benefit of the public. Do I know you? No, I don't think so. Anyway, what's your name? I don't have a name. I was always called by my number, 45492. I suggest something, sir. Yes, what is it, Daniel? Since he's going to be named an unborn locomotive on this line, why not call him Edwin after your good self? That's an excellent idea, Daniel. Thank you. Well, 45492, do you like the name? Oh, yes, sir. Now, Daniel here will escort you to the workshed near Sheffield, Victoria. There you'll receive your new number, a light overhaul and a new coat of paint. Is there any particular color you would like to be wearing? I've always wanted to be painted in the BR green. And so it shall be. Now come on Daniel, off we go. Mr. Salmon stepped inside Daniel's cab and Little Diesel got coupled up to Edwin and then they were on their way. looked all around him as they made their way to Sheffield. It 
It's exactly like I remember. All oh, the memories are coming back. Too mate, you'll be able to run this line like you used to, and you'll be able to make new memories. Won't that be great? Yes, it will be. A little while later on, they had to stop at Woodhead Station before entering the tunnel. Why have we stopped? We have to let the diesel pass. The BR are clearing away the remaining rolling stock left on the line. Oh, I see. It should pass in a few minutes, and the line's left to us. Daniel. Yes, Edwin? Are there any other engines on this line? Besides you and me? Yeah, yes, there are two more. One in the RV2 and an austerity, but you're the one to carry the flag, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes, I understand. Just then, a diesel horn could be heard in the distance, and a few seconds later, a class 47 diesel emerged from the tunnel. The diesel then gently stopped at the platform. I thought of you Black Pfizer scrapped decades ago, but apparently we missed one. But don't worry, we'll soon see to it that you're scrapped. The diesel then gently restarted, blowing his horn loudly. Oi! Don't mind him, Edwin. He'll soon get what he deserves. Soon, the signal turned green, and they were on their way again.
When they came out of the Woodhead Tunnel, they started coasting down the hill. <laughs> oh. Are you having fun back there? Oh, the memories. I remember back in the old days, me, my brothers, sisters and friends did this all the time. What? Coast down a hill? Yes, it's so fantastic. Well, whatever floats your boat. Soon, they reached Sheffield. Daniel then shunted Edwin into the workshop. There, as said earlier, were two locomotives, an LNEO V2 and an Austerity. Hello, old chap. My name is Stephen. And mine is Timothy. What's yours? Um, Edwin. Edwin only received his name a few hours ago. Oh, I see. Anyway, Edwin, how do you do? How do you do? So, here he is, gentlemen. He is not exactly sparkly clean and ready for work, is he, Mr. Salmon? Yeah, I know that, Mr. Philipson. Don't you worry, Mr. Salmon. He'll be ready for the first train. But that's in one week. The man started checking over the engine, figuring out what needed to be fixed. Checking brake blocks, examining the wheels and the frames, and looking over the boiler. The next morning, Edwin awoke from a lovely dream, reminiscing about his days working on the Woodhead Line holding heavy freights, passenger trains, racking up the miles. He gazed out in the morning sunshine. It was the start of a new adventure for him and his new friends. This truly is a pleasant surprise. <laughs>